Hey guys, this is Heather with Two Blooms Lightroom Presets. Today's video is all about graduated filters. I'm going to show you how to use graduated filters in Lightroom to add depth to your photos and enhance them even more. I usually add a vignette to my photos just to give them more depth and make them stand out, but with this photo, you can see that there's very directional lighting coming from the left side. His, the right side of his face is a little bit darker, and the left side of his face is, you know, on, has these highlights right here. So adding a vignette wouldn't look very natural. So I'm going to use a graduated filter. You can see the little button over here. I'm just going to go ahead and push it. I haven't done any kind of adjustments on this photo. Just a little bit of sharpening, so this is straight out of camera. Um, let me just scroll down here. And we'll just create a snapshot for filter, just so we can go back and look at what it looked like before. All right, and so you're going to see this little menu over here. So what I want to do with this photo, I just want to make it a little bit more dark on this side to give it more depth. So you can come over here and you can adjust your exposure slider. Um, I'm going to just make it a little darker. So with the graduated filter, you see this little plus sign, you just click on it, and it will come with this like little filter that goes across your page, and you can move it however you want. Um, if you hold down your shift key, it's Mac, I believe that's command, um, you can keep the straight lines. So for this image, I'm just going to pull it out to about here. I don't want too much of the left side of his face to be darkened. So I think that's going to do it. And then I can come over here and I can adjust the darkness. I think that's a little too dark. I think that's about perfect. And what this is going to do, it's just going to make this side of the image darker and it's going to gradually get lighter so it's a very nice even gradient. And I'll click done and this is what it looked like before the filter. I'm just going to do and this was after the filter so it just created more depth and added some dimension to the photo because before it was a little on the flat side and didn't really have much character. So um, that's how I would use a graduated filter in a portrait. These are really great for landscapes or portraits that have a lot of um, environment in them. But this was um, how you can use them on headshot portraits. Hope you found this quick tutorial useful. Make sure you check out my website at www.twoblooms.com. See you next time.